Okay. Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing? And so I've gotten some ColourPop stuff that I didn't really have time to play with. And so this weekend I've been making time to kind of go ahead and play. This is one of the ColourPop's um, lip glosses, Ultra Glossy, and this one's Incrushion. Really pretty color. Um, as far as what I have on my face, I have the Pretty Fresh foundation on. And um, as far as my bronzer, I went ahead and used the Heat Wave. This is a Sunrise Bronzer. Um, and this one is actually by Flower Beauty. You can get it on the Flower Beauty uh, site. And then I did go ahead and use a couple of different blushes here. Okay, so I did go ahead and use this one, which is Sounds Grape, and this one's by ColourPop. Yeah, so <clears throat> Sounds Grape is my base. Then I went ahead and used a little bit of the Pink Gasm from Charlotte Tilbury on top. I also added in a little bit of the ColourPop Addicted to You, which is a highlighter. Let's see if I can get this open here. And one second. So uh, this is the highlighter. Oh, yeah, that's shiny and bright. So uh, that's what the highlighter looks like. And then uh, what I ended up doing with the eyes was working with the Troublemaker palette. I had done one video with it, but I didn't feel like I had gotten, I'd gotten to the palette. I, it just seemed more like I, yeah. Um, just so I went ahead and wanted to do another look with it. Actually, lots of looks with it, but um, as far as what I did here, I have this one on my crease. I put this above the crease. Uh, let's see what else I did. I used uh, this one right on the inner corner, and then I used this gray on the outer corner. Oh, and this also in the inner corner and right under the brow bone. So I tried to use as many colors as I could, and I do think it turns into a really pretty palette. This color over here is really pretty, but it's a duochrome, and it really picks up pink. And the last look I did sort of got taken over by this color, so I wanted to go ahead and do a new one. And isn't this cute packaging? I mean, don't you feel like an Alfred Hitchcock movie here? Woo! And then the front. Yeah, Rocky Horror Picture Show right there. Yay! So, um, yeah, the packaging on here is great. I think the colors are great. This way that the eye look turned out. And um, as far as the eyeliner, I did go ahead and use this as my eyeliner as well. Um, this particular look I think is great and it's easy and I did it with my fingers and so again I would really suggest this palette to anybody um, especially a cool tone lover this is really good palette for that burgundies in here as well are really really pretty and the burgundy gray combination is great so uh, that's my video I'm doing a couple today and um, Actually, let's go ahead and use a little bit of this on it as well, because I don't think I've... No, I did set it. I take that back. I used the glowish powder to go ahead and set it. <laughs> Excuse my memory. And um, so uh, that's the glowish powder. I have mine in fair light. And so that's what I went ahead and used. Uh, this is the fourth ray glisten up. I like to use it as a setting spray. It has a lot of mica and sparkles in it. So here's the look. And um, hope you like it. I think it turned out really fun. And I really like it. And um, thank you and have a great day. Bye.